let's play some tic-tac-toe and let's learn some Google Apps Script while we're at it. And let's also look at the value of formatting. Can you see the difference between this sheet and this one? Because functionally, they're exactly the same thing. However, one is more pleasing to the eye than the other. And I would encourage you to use this style more than the rough version. Let's go. First up, we've got our tic-tac-toe board. I've just got a different color background and some all borders uh, on this. From there, you can also see I've applied some conditional or some data validation. So let's pull up Alt H V. That's Alt A V actually. And our data validation rules here are simply a drop down, and it's either X or it's O. From the advanced options, we can also reject the input of anything other than an X or an O, and I've changed the display style to plain text for hopefully obvious reasons so it looks a little bit cleaner. Click done there, and you can also see this turned green. Alt H L, conditional formatting. Custom formula here is what we have to do for this to happen. And we've basically just got an and statement that I'll pull out here into a cell because frustratingly, you cannot see the whole function in this little conditional formatting rules box. Be that as it may, we've got an and statement. We wrap this whole thing in parentheses. B2 equals C2, so that's just this first cell is equal to this cell, and then B2 is equal to D2, so is it three in a row? We also need the is text B2. We just need to test one of these for is it text because otherwise the blank cells will turn green and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so you see that's true. And then over here, it's turning this shade of green. If I changed it to this horrible shade of purple, it would change there as well. The next thing we've got is our scorecard. Simple scorecard, X's and O's, zero, zero. But what do we have here? Oh, if we click X score, because X just won, we have X in green and O in red, because we've got more conditional formatting there, just testing, is this value greater than this value? Turn it green, or is it less than this value? And you just click equals the cell you're testing against, and you can turn it red. And we also had this increment by one because we've attached a script to these buttons. So first up, the button. You can create a button by going insert drawing, and then you just draw whatever it is you wanna draw. You can do different shapes. I did rounded rectangles, do it like that. Button, and that's it. Make it big, change the font, center it up. You're all good to go, save and close. Then you click in it, and you just drag it down to size, and you can just drag this wherever you want the button to go. Now, to make it magic and work, you have to add a script to it, and by doing this, you click over here in these three little dots, and you can either edit it, like I incorrectly clicked there, or you can assign a script. Here, you don't need equals, you don't need parentheses, you just need to say X score or whatever your script name is. I'm not gonna attach that here. I'm in fact gonna click those dots again and go delete. Now, before we jump into app script, of note, if you wanna move these when they're already here, anytime you click them, they're gonna run the script once you've attached a script to them. So you can't even click and drag or anything, you have to right click. And that brings back up the ability to move it around as well as these three dots to edit it or assign the script. And you see there's where I've assigned that Xcore script to it. Okay, app script time. It's really not that bad. We've got four functions, two for the scores, X score and O score, exactly the same function. We got a clear board function, which does what you would think it would. It's simply look, clear content, pretty self-explanatory, running a clear content method on a range, which is named board. And then that board range is coming from the spreadsheet.getActive method, which is just grabbing the current active spreadsheet we're on, or the active sheet rather that we're on. Then we've got function reset, and this is gonna reset everything. So this is grabbing the active sheet. It is getting the score ranges, and it's setting their values to zero, and it's running the clear board function. So clear board clears the board, keeps the scores. So you can keep a running total of who's scored what, and you see that going on here. And then uh, reset will actually clear the scores 
and the board both. So back to zero resets. The scores themselves, which I didn't go into at depth, you're getting that active sheet by spreadsheet app that get active. And we do that as the first line in all these functions. Then we're getting the score, which is X score named range in the X score function. And it's O score range name in the O score function. Then we're getting that range by name again, and we're setting the value to whatever it is, X score. So when it's zero, it's zero plus one. When X score is one, it's one plus one. And so we're incrementing it by one, and then we're clearing the board. So each of those clears the board so you can play the next round. And that's it, y'all. We've got functioning tic-tac-toe here with uh, some basic scripts that we've learned in Google Apps Script. Hope this is helpful for you and your Google Sheets journey and that you will join me again on the next video. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. You're awesome. Bye.